Here we go. Game number one. I just have to adjust the colors. Uh, where are they? Okay. Rubber is playing in green. And red for Rudan. Yeah, that's the first pairing of today. Rudan for the Night Elves and Lover for the Undeads. We see a Warden first, everybody. That is cool. Um, and please let me know if the sound levels are correct or not. I can tune me up a bit or tune me down a bit. There's no game sound. There we go. All right, this should be good. We're here. Game number one in this beautiful tournament. Games out. Players forces are under so, attack. as I mentioned before, Lubber here in the bottom left as the Undead Scourge. He's playing aka um, Eucalyptus from Bulgaria, he hails. And his opponent is the Serbian Prince, aka Rudin, the basketball player. This is the NGL format, everybody. So the loser will uh, leave this clan while the winner will continue to fight the next. Um, the next player of the losing team, who has map votes then. So, what do we see here from Lover? It's the usual ghoul build with late fiends, early tech, but this warden. We saw it in TWCL on Thursday. And it wasn't that a successful, to be honest, but that. Rudin is a fairly decent one player. Uh, let's just remember WCA 2015 European uh, qualifier, where he beat Hawk. So, uh, yeah, with that Warden, but of course it's against Undead this time. Lover, pretty promising player, actually, from Bulgaria. <coughs> A town is uh, but Rudin, seat. definitely the favorite here. I think, in general, Team Night Elf uh, seems to be superior to the Undeads, but Coil Nova GG is always up for some surprises. The Coil arrives too late, so we get a few kills here. A player's forces are under attack. And the Warden already level two and a half, of course, started off with an Engine of War creep here at the laboratory, and that boosts the experience bar at least to a degree. So, tier two tech for the Night Elves, obviously. No Huntress Hall just yet. And yeah, no pressure so far from Lava. We haven't seen the ghoul group, the ghoul gang. A player's forces are under attack. So uh, yeah, level two for him. Claws of attack and mantle. Nice items, but yeah, he sold the town portal. So this will be a lot of aggression at the early stages of tier two, I guess. And of course, it is always the target to keep the warden down. And Amazonia, it's not that easy to creep her. But you see, he's going to the merchant and uh, the, the merchant. And this will be level three. Shadow Strike, way um, stronger on that very level. And that is, of course, always a threat to the Death Knight, who has no chance of healing up since there's no um, obsidian statues. Death Knight started to creep, or continues to creep as well. Still no ghouls, only skeletons. So, uh, low investment by Lover so far. I think this will be an immediate tier 3 tag, and we see it right here. The Lich has a second tier, no Naga, of course, no uh, no pressure if he plays it like this. The Huntress Hall for uh, Rudin, a little late. <coughs> the ghoul and the gang, I like that. Chat already uh, very, very promising for today. And yeah, it is a best of nine. So uh, the first team who eliminates all the opposing the players, players will, will win this clan war. The first team who scores five points will win this. And nice coil, nice steal, almost double three. Watch awards, very, very important. But the Warden Harass continues. One Acolyte is down, the second one is about to die. Thanks to the damage over time tick in here. Bam, there we go. And that's halfway through the tech. That's a lot of gold that the lover is missing here. 9,220 compared to 9,000. That's 200 gold. Double engine of war is coming up. Tier 3 tech is coming. And uh, slaughterhouse for a lover. You see it on the map as well. Lich is out. No orb of corruption just yet. But he moves over the claws and the mantle immediately. Warden is level 3. Yes, but not that threatening. We see Blink and Shadow Strike, no fan of knives, of course, against uh, Fiends. 
It's not that effective as it is against casters or ghouls or whatever. So Rudin with the right uh, skill choice here in my opinion. Got the first Berserker for additional damage. But so far a very very patient game. A player's forces are under attack. The Undead in Race Wars traditionally pretty damn strong. Uh, I think they never ended up last, if I remember this correctly. But a lot of people, I I read the comments, a lot of people said, Oh, the Undead team, where's Happy, where's Chechi? They have no chance. I doubt it, especially against Night Elf. They should have a chance, but we have Warchi, we have Foggy, it's gonna be very, very hard. Nova into Rudin's army, Shadow Strike on the Death Knight to uh, slow him down. A little Berserker is down, the Archer will fall as well. Oh, the second Archer with the investment of a coil. That's a lot of experience here, especially for the Lich, almost level 2. And staffing out, nice little move by Lubber uh, to get away from the pressure of the Warden. Nova onto her, but the damage output is definitely not enough. And maybe the staff was a mistake, there is no Town Portal. Warden is super duper low, though there is another Nova! And he portals out, calculated it, gets the next Fiend, good play by Rudin here. Playing it safe, playing it sound, and gets the best out of this little uh, Creepjack. But his Engine of War is down, his plans to cancel the natural expansions are over. Tier 3 for Lubber is here. We have the... Oh, we, ha we don't have the Orb of Corruption. I was wondering because the Death Knight was just in the middle of the base. <coughs> so yeah, he's waiting for something. A no Tier 3 hero um, from the base, so most likely a Naga, but the Orb of Corruption is heavily missing in the army here. He definitely needs the armor reduction to be able... Uh, to fight. Once again contesting this big big creep spot here where one of the most important items is gonna drop. So Master Bear upgrade is coming, 35 seconds and then the Night Elf should be ready to go. Supply wise it is uh, 35 versus 37. And Lubber is hiding in his base, now gets to the shop, now has the amount of gold that he needs for the Orb of Corruption and that boosts the damage output by such a huge margin that Rudin can never fight this at the moment. So a let's see, 7,700 gold attack. here, 7,200, 500 gold advantage from two little harassments and that is a lot of time for Rudin now um, to level up. This is the Scroll of the Beast will be sold because of course destroyers can dispel it and get uh, mana and therefore damage from it. Destroyer upgrade only now. That is uh, late, I guess. But on the other side, Potion of Greater Healing against the Warden. What else do you wish for? It's pretty damn good. But, no, oh, Foggy is lagging here. I hope this uh, won't continue when he plays later on. Level 4 on the Warden, still level 2 Blink, no fan of knives, obviously, so the better the leveling on the Blink, the better it gets. Creeping of course super easy with rejuvenation, it's kinda like an invul potion against creeps, because the healing is better, but here comes Lover, nice map awareness all the time. 44 food versus 47. The destroyer upgrade is finished, so he can morph and engage. Item is the, the devotion aura. That is not that uh, not that great. Two destroyers up in the air. Lich is level two, and the Death Knight close to level four. Can the Warden? win this fight. Three fiends and the ghouls. Dark attack. Ranger here to counter the warden entirely. I don't see silence just yet. Where is it? Oh, Anti-magic potion being used. Now the destroyers have to carry. The first bear is melting against the Nova. No pun intended. The fiend is going down as well. But I think uh, so. Oh, the positioning of the dryads is great. First destroyer is down. Level 5 on the warden. And Lava doesn't stand a chance against the force major that is the night elf. Maybe the heroes have to carry. He's trying to go for it with uh, the focus on the warden. But there's Invo Potion saving her. Nice call. Saving the fiend as well. The destroyer is suffering though. The dryads. Superior. No chance for the one remaining fiend to get away. And uh, as Rudin is afraid, 
of the next hero focus. He portals out, but look at the army of Lubber. It's in completely crippled. Only one fiend remaining. The destroyer micro wasn't that great. And Rudin just picked the way better fight. Just in case there is an all kill heal today, that means that uh, Rudin is eliminating all five players of the undead team. He gets a 50 buck um, special prize from the Orga team. <coughs> and I do not agree with this uh, with this Dark Ranger choice. It is a decent amount of damage, I guess, but it's slow attack speed. And only for the silence, I mean, is it worth it? I don't. I think so. <laughs> Lich is not level 3, that is a big problem, and Rudin knows of course what's Hounds going on. He knows seen. that the next creep spot will be the merchant, and the merchant is important because of the invul potions, and he immediately occupies that spot for him. Expansion play from Rudin. There is one trapper, but uh, this will not be cancelled, I guess. And now he steals the creep spot with buying an invul potion. No town portal. Oh, this will be cancelled. LOL <coughs> And he didn't even cancel it so a lot of resources wasted 49 food Oops 49 food for Rude and 41 for Lubber you can see it here That's the army supply that's the economy supply so you can do the math The items on the undead though pretty okay Lich is a good damage dealer um, he has healing, he has mana, he has a heal scroll on his death knight. A player's force so maybe the attack. items can pull this off for him, but we have a level 5.5 warden, which is engaging immediately onto the Crypt Fiend. Of course, the less Crypt Fiends there are, the less is the damage on the Dryads, and he needs the Dryads against the Destroyer, who's just uh, killing bears left, right, and center. First one is down, but he gets the uh, second Fiend and Rudin. So strong, completely ignoring the Abomination. I like that move. And as I say it, he's focusing it. <laughs> okay, we will have level 6 in just a second. Next Shadow Strike coil hits the Evo to save it, but... Uh, I guess this looks pretty good for the Serbian Prince. Blink out, get a, uh, become a little more safe. Invo Potion now. And he gets the better of this destroyer. No, okay, Micro. Fiends are falling, level 6 it is, and there is the next Blink. Warden is super duper safe. The army is still strong with uh, 42 food versus 32. And now the heroes have to carry. Oh, he tends to destroy her back in. Using the heal scroll, will it be enough though? I doubt it. The mana potion is gone. Only the heal and invul potion of the Death Knight remaining. And Rudin does not want to fight this without his warden. Of course, he has all the time in the world. I think. Lover focused the Dryads not good enough because they give a lot of experience and afterwards your destroyers are free to rain, but of course it's always a hard choice to do. A player's forces are under attack. Zero zero upgrades on this side, zero zero on this side. So maybe the second expansion attempt now <laughs> when he kills that trapper. A little scouting. Oh, it's the ultimate. Okay. Not only scouting, but also a little bit of damage since uh, the little spirits are, of course, invulnerable. 4,000 gold remaining. And there is the second expansion. He's playing this super duper safe. But never count the undead out as long as he has his heroes on the battlefield. He's far away from level 5, yes, but Colonel Nova level 2. And silence is a good combo. Rune is missing one bear in his army. 49 food versus 47, plus the Avatar of Vengeance. Let's see what uh, Lubber is capable of doing. This time he focuses the Dryads a little better at least, but the Spirits. The Spirits are definitely a problem. The duration on the Avatar is only halfway through. And right click on the Dark Ranger. There is another coil, uses it now, but with the cost of a fiend. And that lowers the damage output even further. The statues are going down against the spirits. The warden is taking care of the destroyer once again. The abomination is surviving for now, but of course the melee, uh, the bear melee units are way superior 
The coil arrives too late, double kill on the undead units here, gets a bear in return. But what's it worth if this lich is dying? And there we go, level 7 on the warden, GG! <coughs> and that is game number 1 for Team Night Elf. Rudin, pretty promising. Pretty, pretty promising. Um, so let's see, who else do we have? We have Van, Enter, Heveline, and Shaddai here in this lineup. Heveline is next, and we go into a quick break because I have to update everything, and then we'll be back with map number two. <laughs> 